Hello everybody, welcome. It's Pastor Joyce from Christ the Cornerstone Church with our nightly message and prayer time. And uh, I know it's Monday, so the week begins and we wanna be sure to get our mind on the right track as always. So hopefully this uh, scripture reading tonight and a little bit of a message will help you uh, keep focused on what's most important. And to me and to us, I believe, um, through everything we're going through, through all the things that are troubling us, the losses we've seen, uh, there's so many um, sad and tragic things that are happening. In the midst of all that, there is one thing that always remains for each and every one of us. And I believe that one thing is love because it is love that keeps us together, binds us together. It is love that truly is what's most important. That's all we're left with at the end of the day, at the end of our life, who we loved, who loved us, and how we showed that love is really what a legacy is all about, as well as uh, proving to others that love is the most important, valuable, tr treasuring thing that any of us could ever have. And uh, I was kind of having a conversation with Pastor Jamie today, and we were having a theological conversation and just trying to figure out what's going on in the world and what can we do and it seems so overwhelming at times and how do we help people uh, through this time and both of us came to the same con conclusion I believe it's all that matters is how we love and that we continue to show love because no matter what people are going through what they need the most is love and so um, I did a wedding on Saturday. I, I officiated a wedding for two men and it was awesome. And you know, at most weddings, I read uh, 1 Corinthians 13, four through eight, which is the love chapter in the Bible. Um, it's also not just for weddings, of course, it's really about unconditional love and how important love is, no matter what it is we do, no matter what it is we have, no matter all the other spiritual gifts any of us can have, the most important thing that we have to have in doing even those things is loving unconditionally the way God does. And so I was thinking about, well, how do you, how do you get through life? How do we endure things? Because I feel like we're in an endurance uh, lesson th this past year. And that's where 1 Corinthians 13, 7 came up and I realized, ah, there's the scripture that says it all. And it's 1 Corinthians 13, 7. And it's a very simple verse, but what it says is this. Love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful, and endures through every circumstance. So what that means to me is even in any kind of circumstance, no matter what it is, we don't give up on other people. We don't give up on on. Uh, believing in God we don't believe in the good in people we we don't give up on that and we don't lose faith in God because we might be going through some tough times we can still have faith not just in God but the fact that God still loves us and is sending love to us and we have that connection spiritually speaking all the time but it's it's always hopeful it's always hopeful that doing something with love can make a difference and I don't care what it is, if you cook something, if you sew something, if you uh, preach something, it doesn't make any difference. The action you take, if there's love within it and love behind it and it's love is your motivation for it, no matter what it is, it's going to be lasting and it's going to be wonderful and it's going to be a blessing to others. And it endures through every circumstance. You know, when you think about it, the only thing any of us can do through anything is to continue to love that no matter what we're going through if we continue to love one another continue to show that love to others and give them that sense of yes god still loves us and we still love you too and we're going to make it through this thing together but it's also underneath it all it's the reason why we do what we do in all of our lives meaning that has to be the the thing we value the most is showing love being love and letting it be something that, that it will never disappear and it won't go away. And so love conquers anything. Love conquers doubt and fear and hate. It's love that will surpass anything and everything. What, whatever we do, when we do it with love, it's gonna be a lasting legacy. It's gonna be a lasting, valuable thing we leave to one another. 
And so as we go through times, um, you know, even when someone's feeling down or feeling concerned or worried, we love them through it. We're there with them. We don't judge them. We don't condemn them for being afraid. We just still love them. We don't take away that love ever because of the way people feel. And that's how God is. So that's the unconditional love that I'm talking about. So, you know, when we think about any kind of relationship, no matter what it is, and obviously that love chapter fits into marriage, that we have to endure the love that we have for each other. What happens to us outside of us cannot affect how we treat each other, how we talk to each other, how we feel about each other. We have to always come back to being the, the fact that we're together, we're here for one reason and one reason only, and that is to love one another. And even when people are at their worst, and I'm at my worst, and boy, you don't want to see me then, uh, my partner, my wife, still continues to love me. And that's where forgiveness comes in, because that's a God-like love, and that's what we have to do with one another. So I believe that everything we do out of love now during these times reaching out to others caring about them seeing what we do can do to help them lift their spirits those are all acts of love because that's what's going to help us all together endure this alone we can do so little and we need the love and the friendship and the kindness of others to stick together and work out our problems in a loving way and out of love we do it for the sake of love because that's who God is. God is love. And so we can show God's love by loving one another. So hopefully I know that's the, that was the theme and still is the theme for our church for 2020. Uh, do let every, let everything be done in love. That's our scripture, uh, from first Corinthians 15. So first Corinthians 13 also tells us love will help us endure anything. And so you stick it out with people. You don't give up on people. You don't give up on yourself. And God never gives up on us either. So we'll get through this. Um, no matter what happens, we will endure this by staying loving. Uh, when we get upset with one another, that, that just destroys the relationships that we can have with each other. And that's what the enemy wants. So we're going to keep on loving. We're going to endure this. And we're going to come out the other side better for it because we've loved more we loved much and we made a difference because love always wins let us pray loving god that's who you are you are the essence of love you are nothing but love and we thank you for that god and we know it's your love god that sustains us your love for us that even while we go through difficult times and we feel like we're suffering, you're still sending your love to us and, and it's always within us and it's always available to us, God, no matter what circumstance we find ourselves. And we thank you for that, God. And we're so blessed, God, that you give us people in our lives. They are living examples of your love as well, Lord. And help each and every one of us do things more out of the motivation of loving one another that we love others more than even we love ourselves, God, but especially we love those who are so hard to love, Lord, including ourselves sometimes, God. And I thank you for that unconditional love you give us. Love never gives up, it never loses faith, it never, it's always hopeful, always hopeful that people are gonna change and grow. And that's how you feel about us, God, even when we seem to be stagnant. You continue to love us through it, to help us change and grow, and we thank you for that, God. And we know that it's your love that will help us endure through every circumstance, because you're nothing but love, and we thank you for that now. So I send love and peace and joy out to everyone this night. May they feel your love. May they feel the love of others, Lord. And as we look around at nature even, God, those are loving symbols of who you created, these, these beautiful birds and plants and flowers and all the things that you, sh you shower upon us, God, are more and more little trinkets of and gifts of love, and we thank you for them, but we especially thank you for all the people in our lives who love us, and we love them as well. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. We hope you have an awesome, blessed night, and uh, I hope you know that no matter what, God loves you, we love you, and we'll never, ever, ever run out of love because that's who God, God is. He never gives up on us, and we're not giving up on God either. God bless you. Good night. See you tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. I know Pastor Jamie will have an awesome message for you. Keep on doing everything in love. God bless.